So Maggie, this walk us through the transformative nature of IC photonics. You're going to be disrupting certain market segments. Highlight for us the market segments you're going to be disrupting and which ones you're going to focus on first. Well, Jeffrey, thanks for asking. I mean, I, I think if you if you take the umbrella of ICT, Information Communications Technology, um, clearly the scenario um, that we've addressed first is around ultra scale routing. And we are introducing a platform that I call an SDN forwarding plane, a element that has a very open northbound interface and you can take policy from the cloud and tell each and every flow how to behave through it. What that does is it drives innovation at the speed of life. It gives the operators the ability to do services blending in a platform and do it in software cycle times instead of infrastructure cycle times. That is disruptive in the traditional core routing space because what happens is you have to separate the higher order brain functions that run in the cloud whether it is messaging or it is um, uh, transcoding or it is a, uh, a virtualized security device what happens is the the SDN forwarding plane by compass using IC photonics will provide a bridge for CIOs and CTOs the world over to migrate from their legacy systems to the future of open and programmable SDN forwarding planes. This is the first place that we're taking the technology and the first disruption. If you move beyond that and go into the data center itself, with the IC photonics chip and say that we're in our next generation chip. I will have 336 additional IOs that are optical. If I place those, let me use my chip here to explain, and say that that's on the front panel. Now I can terminate 336, let's just say servers, into the densest platform known to man. Now I can put two of them together and terminate over 600 devices directly in to this piece of silicon. No other technology affords that kind of density, that kind of power, that kind of, of, of effectiveness. So the, the IC photonics in the data center will shrink things beyond anything doable with electrical only systems. In addition to that, the optical interconnect between the chips will be able to be used for this 1.6 peta fabric. Let me give you an example. In a data center where you have racks, and on the top of those racks you have a TOR, but then above the TOR you have an aggregation layer, and above that what you do is you connect all of these systems together. And essentially you have a one stage, two stage, three stage switch that adds latency, it adds cost, it adds space. In IC photonics, what I can do, let's just say this is sitting here, I can put 600 servers into one RU. And oh, by the way, I can connect all of those things together with a massive scale switch fabric. So I go from connect it once, twice, three times to a strategy for data centers of the future cloud, the largest scale systems on earth, to be able to do connect it once into IC photonics from Compass, and now any process running on any server in this data center can have SDN tell the forwarding plane to connect these services virtually with no additional physical connectivity, and I can render new services at the speed of life when people want it and I can blend them together in ways that were never doable before. So in the data center, 
IC photonics will both disrupt the connectivity to all of the servers, it will create an optical backplane that allows me to scale in such a way that a 1.6 petabit switch fabric can provide all of the connectivity logically internally without the need to go through this three-stage architecture. That's the data center. I'll just wrap up with a third one, if you will. Um, in terms of storage, no, I'm going to do two more. I'm going to do storage and I'm going to do compute. In storage, some of the latest technology on Earth is embedding um, an Ethernet controller into a white label simple drive. The, the, the um, Seagate folks have launched their kinetic drive. This is a very, very powerful concept because it takes white label inexpensive to a whole new level. The, the, the data center operators then need to connect that back into the system. Well, this is just painting with a paintbrush. If you were able to connect thousands of standalone very inexpensive drives into a very low cost per connection highly dense interface now you could unleash the power of white label low cost um, uh, storage into the cloud center in a way that's not doable today where you would have to buy an Ethernet port for every one of the drives. Finally, I will tell you in computing, this is, this is again going out. Today, VLSI designers are constrained by doing the design inside of the four corners of the piece of silicon that they're working with. Maybe two billion devices or four billion devices or eight billion devices. But with IC photonics, you could take in future server architectures and maybe you could have 10 chips each, each with the optical interconnect to the other and instead of having two billion devices, you could do your VLSI across a piece of virtual silicon that is 20 billion devices. This type of unleashing innovation beyond the current boundaries of the architecture of wires and electrons into the future of IC photonics, where the two complement each other wonderfully um, are the areas where I see Compass EOS disrupting the ICT industry on a planetary basis over the next years. Thank you very much.